There's an election on in Flinders, and I know who I will back. It's a hard-working man called Cata. Helps anyone on the track. And if you say to me that you want to hire a church hall, you're the local um, association of LBGTs, whatever the hell the words are, um, whatever it is, but you, you want to do that. No, I have no idea what it is. I seriously have no idea what it is, and I'm not going to spend any time finding out either, because you'll have probably changed it between now and then. If we get the power in Queensland, we say this morning, noon and night, and you fool around with some sort of idiot infantile stupidity, right? You know, I've had to lock my door on numerous occasions with female staff trying to get at men, take advantage of men. You know, over the years, lucky I've been a man of very strong moral fibre, or I could have been led astray. What, what, so hang on, I'm, Bob, I'm, I need I'm, this I'm a single man here. I need some tips. What are your tips? <laughs> Mate, just lock the door. I hear hell gates are going. I know irrigation's coming soon. I see the rivers, they are flowing. Question, <clears throat> true or false? I'm a Martian astronaut, Mr Acting Speaker, I can assure you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bloke that looks like me. It's a bloke that looks like me. A crocodile is a crocodile. They eat people. They see you and they say, that's lunch. And he said, how are you going to vote on this, uh, you know, uh, um, quality of marriage, uh, gay marriage bill? And uh, we had a little bit of an argument about the word gay, which we compromised and said same-sex marriage. In the real world, I walked in the pub and said, Bobby, I'm going bush, mate, before they make it compulsory. And everyone roared laughing. Please, please listen to me, mm. right? Every four days in this country, a farmer commits suicide. And I have and no people, and particularly farmers' sons. Oh, look, hear please. Me? No, hear no, me no, now. I'm not going to answer your we, question. Are you going to ignore me now? That's correct. I told you that I don't answer those questions. I'm not interested in them. There are burning issues in this country that I talk about. And it's not because I think I've got at least one Semitic in the family tree somewhere. But nothing to do with that. Is this image from one of the great institutions of rural Australia, the Bachelors and Spinsters Ball, a BNS, or is it a gay wedding? <laughs> BNS or gay wedding, Bob Catter? You know, I'm not into. Men, you know, he's, the pictures of Sheila still. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> BNS or gay wedding? <laughs> I have been some of BNSs and I've seen scenes like that. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your there word for that. There were Sheila's inside, but I, I got to <laughs> point out that. I mean, <laughs> you know, people are entitled to the. Sexual proclivities, you know. I mean, let there be a thousand blossoms bloom as far as I'm concerned, you know. But I ain't spending any time on it because, in the meantime, every three months, a person is torn to pieces by a crocodile in North Queensland. The person that prevents us from shooting those crocodiles shall be dragged into a courtroom and held to account for the deaths of North Queensland. We'll thrash and lash them. We'll bash and mash them. Go Maroons. Grandfather Carl because Robert Catter was born in the Kadisha Valley in Lebanon. And I just, I just told you that he was an Australian. Given your grandfather's Lebanese, how do you feel about him? No, he's not. He's an Australian. And I resent strongly you describing him as Lebanese. That is a racist comment and you should take it back and you should be ashamed of yourself for saying it in public. I'm very, very angry Lebanon. that you are questioning that my grandfather was an Australian. I don't care where he was born, it's but I don't care where he was born. I don't understand why you should fly off the <laughs> handle when I point out your grandfather's from Lebanon. For my cousin brothers, for my cousin brothers. Some of my black brothers 
We're down from Cape York. You're not it's Aboriginal, not Bob. Just I just, just you should stop <laughs> saying that. You know, you're an Jewish Aboriginal person. person. How do you get on? Can you hold up your right hand? Left hand. Sorry, your left hand. It says map. And I put it out so everyone can see it. Why have you got all that handwriting all if over If I write yourself? it down, I remember it. Huh? Have I lost it? <laughs> boys will be boys and girls will be boys. And if you try and stop that, I think you're being naive and, and stupid. Every country on earth is on ethanol. Why aren't we on ethanol? Because the oil and gas companies, of course, and their uh, good friends and partners, Woolworths and Coles, own the governments of Australia. And you all know that. So please give us a break. Give Clive and myself and the other small parties, give us a break. Give us a fair go. Because if you don't, you will break your country. What we're doing here when we build this rail line is we're switching the lights on for the poor Chinamen and the poor Indians. So it's going to be our coal, our rail line, and our jobs. Bash them, mate. Bash them. Oh, yeah, but that average, average is 50 right. kilos. 50. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit more further down, that's it. Are you right? Yep. Yep. And yeah, well, we're going to let you go. You hold for about five minutes. It's about two minutes. Ah! He, he, he pulls out, you know, and he said, you have a knife. It's my briefcase. And I said, that is not a knife, my friend. That is my letter opener. Right. This is my letter opener. I do have a knife. How did you get through <laughs> you know, that through Parliament? There's no Let's difference. Have a look at that. How did you get that through Parliament security? Um, <clears throat> I have influence. Um, but it's my letter opener. What are you going to deprive me of my letter opener? But, but believe me, my knife is much more formidable. I oh, know, I know. No, 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 that's it. That's it. No, no, come on. No, that's it. No, 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 that's it. Come on, come on, come on. Move it on up. Come on, move it on up. Come on. No, not move backwards. Bob, do you support Fraser Anning's comments in his maiden speech? Absolutely, one thousand percent. I support everything he said. It was a magnificent speech. It was solid gold. 99% of it was solid gold. Don't you put words into my mouth that are not there. I know, and I hope you know it too. I can assure you, Bob Catterton, you'll do the best for you. I know, and I hope you know it's true. I can assure you, Bob Catterton, you'll do the best for you. When do you think might come at retirement age? Well, most Aussies would kick up their feet and relax by the time they were 74. Well, I'm aiming to go no, for no longer than another 12 years.